my name is Shemin, year 2, 6 years old. Today I am going to tell you the story of Mulan, the great legend of ancient China. Thousands of years ago in ancient China, there lived a beautiful young lady named Mulan with her parents at a wonderful village during Wei Dynasty. Ancient Chinese believe that if a lady married a good husband, she will bring honor to her family. But Mulan was no ordinary girl. She brought greatest honor to her family and country with her extraordinary achievement. One gloomy day, the emperor had ordered that one man from every family must join the imperial army. China's enemy, the Huns, had invaded Northern Wei Dynasty. Mulan's father, Hua Zhong, had once been a great warrior, but his leg had been injured in a battle and too old to fight. Later that night, Mulan made a brave decision. After praying to the ancestors, she put on her father's warrior armor. As her parents slept, Mulan jumped onto a horse can and raced off to join the Imperial Army. Yeeha! Mulan, disguised as a man, arrived at the Imperial Army training camp where she met Captain Li Shen. Wom training his soldiers strength and discipline. Mulan struggled to keep up. Frustrated, she instructed Mulan to go home to earn the soldier's respect. Mulan finally retrieved an arrow at the top pole, which is the toughest challenge of all. One hopeful day, Shang led his soldiers into the mountain, and there was surrounded by thousands of hunters. Smart Mulan got a brilliant idea. She lived she fired up the last cannon to create a massive avalanche of snow to cover up majority of the hunt. During the battle, Mulan had been injured. While caring for her wound, a physician released that Mulan was a woman. Feeling upset, Cheng had no choice but to leave Mulan behind. Mulan felt that she had failed her family and herself, but Mulan didn't give up. She then heard the Han's voices and Mulan raced off to the pal to the imperial city to warn Shang. The Han's are alive! They are heading towards the palace! Shang didn't trust her, but in the end, ordered the army to race to the palace to protect the emperor. The Han's leader, Shang Yu, kidnapped the, the emperor's the emperor. But Mulan and Shang rescued him. Finally, the Huns had been defeated and the imperial city was safe. The emperor was very grateful to Mulan. You have saved us all. He then did something extraordinary. The emperor bowed to Mulan. Everyone in the city bowed to Mulan. Two. The emperor asked her to stay as his advisor, but Mulan knew it was time to return to her family. Upon home, Mulan presented her father with a sword given to her by the emperor. The greatest gift of honor is having you as a daughter. I miss you so much. Her father gave Mulan a warm heart and they lived happily ever after. Moral of the story, we must love our parents and be brave to speak out and fight for our beloved family and country. I hope you enjoy my Mulan story. Thank you. 谢谢大家.